The Chill is back for a short time. What's going on, guys? Meteorologist Jonathan Kegis back with you. And we're going to talk about the chill settling back in. And we are going to dry things out. We need that after the crazy weekend we had. We talked about that in the long range a couple of weeks ago that we were likely going to see a very, very wet weekend for the 500. Unfortunately, that came into fruition. Thankfully, though, good race last night. Got that in finally on Monday. But nonetheless, we're going to keep things cool over the next few days we'll talk about why some frost coming back to florida and then we'll get you your pinpoint forecast for north florida central florida and south florida coming up hit that subscribe button if you want to stay updated on all things florida weather it's expected to stay active through spring and it could be a nasty hurricane season as well so we got you guys covered here with none of that hype with none of the misinformation you come to the right place if you just want sound meteorology broken down by science and how the weather is going to impact you so Welcome to our channel if you are finding us for the first time. Here is our big area of low pressure. It has consolidated since uh, that mess through the Florida Peninsula. Again, that active subtropical jet just kept everything wet. And now along the stalled front, it's going to consolidate into a big area of low pressure. That is going to continue to work its way back out in, into the Atlantic. Waves will be rocking a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday on the Atlantic side. So just keep it easy if you're taking the boat out again. The one thing that's going to keep us on the cooler side, as this system departs up to the north, we're shifting our winds like this. We also have a nice chunk of high pressure. It's going to be sitting right on top of Florida over the next couple of days. Really, it's going to be working its way in Tuesday and Wednesday. It's going to help to crank up the winds also on Wednesday. So do expect a breezy Wednesday across most of the Florida uh, state of Florida. As we get into Thursday, high pressure sits on top of us. Now note the time. This is in the morning. That's 7 o'clock on Thursday morning. High pressure. Clear skies calm winds we are going to radiate any warmth we generate on wednesday quickly back into the atmosphere and this is going to be a sneaky cool morning as well i'll show you some of the temperature forecast in a little bit uh, but nonetheless i think we're going to keep things cool at least in the mornings the afternoons are going to be gorgeous it's the mornings that are going to be chilly it's uh, one of those days you got to shed the jacket shed the layers again as we are going to keep things in this cooler pattern so now we're going to fast forward out to february 21st that's tomorrow morning seven o'clock i like to put the date on here in case you are joining us late but there we go 39 in tallahassee i think some of us are going to be a little bit cooler than that and again it is going to be a little windy tomorrow so it's going to feel a little bit colder but again low to mid 40s orlando fort myers port st Lucie. Maybe flirting with the upper 40s in Miami will likely stay in the 50s and low 60s in the Keys. And then watch what happens. We'll shave off a few degrees, I think. And I, and I think this is where at least part of us, uh, part of the state of Florida will. We're going to start to warm things up here because the reason for that, we have high pressure right here. It's a big H right there. Wind flow around high pressure is clockwise so what we have going on here is while most of the florida peninsula is nice and calm on thursday morning we've induced a southerly wind off of the warmer gulf of mexico so we're going to start to pump the warmth back into the florida panhandle uh, on thursday morning but where we have the clear skies the calmer winds we're going to be a little bit colder in the florida peninsula would not be surprised if we have 30s embedded in there even as far south as orlando again clear skies calm winds are the perfect ingredients uh the only thing that helps to radiate the temperatures back even more efficiently is if you had snow on the ground uh, a, a big snowpack like six inches or so uh that's not happening we don't have that so that's the other component the only component we're missing the point i'm trying to make is it is going to be chilly the next few days here is the frost potential as you wake up on wednesday morning so again if you're watching this in Tallahassee, in Lake City, in Gainesville, Ocala, uh, into Denellen, parts of Northern Lake, Northern Sumter County, around the villages, you might want to cover your plants again because we're going to have at least the clear skies, calmer winds. Now, I will say, as I just said, calmer winds, uh, I think they are going to be elevated a little bit on Wednesday morning. It might prevent the widespread frost. I think Thursday is going to be the potential for more widespread frost because of the clear skies calmer wind so that was kind of my Freudian slip I was getting one thought ahead the breeze is going to stay up just a little bit so if you covered your plants last night for this morning I hope you did um if you were in the frost area anyway keep them covered for the next couple of nights there we go 71 tomorrow this is going to be for Wednesday the 21st by the way 67 in Lake City gorgeous afternoon still on the cool side but very nice 
Very sunny in Cedar Key. We're in the mid 60s, pushing 70 in Panama City. What's going on? St. Augustine, a little cooler for us. We're back to the low 60s with that breeze out of the north. 64 for us in Daytona Beach. Orlando, we're pushing 70. 70 for us in Tampa. St. Pete Beach, we're back at 68 degrees. And then checking on you guys in South Florida. We're at 73 in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, a gorgeous afternoon. We're at 72, a little breezy. Again, look at us in West Palm, that breeze out of the north at about 15 to 20 miles an hour. These are sustained winds. So the gusts are going to be a little bit higher. We talked about that breezy day because that area of low pressure and that area of high pressure kind of coming in, uh, increasing the pressure gradient. That's what we call that. Uh, 70 in Naples, 71 degrees in Fort Myers. Alrighty, guys. There's your forecast in a nutshell. We are finally quieting things down. I do think we're going to keep the nice stretch of quiet weather rolling into the weekend. Again, unfortunately, the 500 wasn't this upcoming weekend because it's going to be gorgeous the whole way through. But I guess such is life. It was a great race anyway, albeit on Monday. Uh, feel for you guys that couldn't stay at the race because of the delay. But we unfortunately talked about how we would likely see a washout last weekend thank you guys so much for tuning in again if you want to stay updated on all things florida weather do me a favor hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up button i would appreciate that a ton and we will catch you next time